Another guy I love, and I mean I love him like a brother, Paul, is Christopher Titus. Fantastic. And I hope he realizes I called him Christopher Titus yes, this did. time, not Chris <laughs> Titus. <laughs> that he hates when I do that. Uh, we have Christopher Titus on the line with us right now. Christopher, how you doing today? What's up, my brother? Man, every time I call you guys, I call all over, I do radio all over. Yeah. You guys are always playing the best music every time. I, I, I'm sitting here just rocking. Go, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, I got to talk now. Damn there it. you go. <laughs> right. Hey, now this is absolutely humongous. When you told me about this, I said, wow, that is, this is going to be huge. Uh, the uh, 20th, desperation, my friend. The 20th anniversary of the Titus Family Reunion Show. And we've been handing out streams for this all week long. It takes place this Friday at 6 p.m. our time. And, yes, yes, and sir. Yeah. now explain to me. Now, first off, uh, the, the Titus show was huge on the Fox network. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Up until I smarted off to the network president. It was huge. Yes. <laughs> that, that's right. And here's something I didn't know until today. I didn't know why you sassed back and told off the network president. Now, can you explain to me, can you explain to me why you got all snippy with the president and it canceled the show, basically? Sure, let's relive my nightmare just one more time. One last time. <laughs> oh, just so, wait, because I'm going to relive some some big nightmares for you today. Oh, no, no. You know, man, I've had enough litigation. Why do you keep doing this to me? All right, so, so the, the network, what, what happened? happened? So here's what happened. So the third year, we had, the th- we had three presidents in three years, which is weird, man, because now when presidents come in and they want to just pee on whatever you're doing. They can't just go. <laughs> the great one, we, we had a guy named Doug Herzog, who was, he actually took over Comedy Central after he left Fox. He was great. He was like, just do, keep doing it, 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 and if it sucks, I'll get involved. But he never did. Right. And then we had this other guy who was kind of nutty. He wanted to be president of the whole, like, Fox, the whole over thing. And then he left after a year. And then we got Gail Berman. Gail Berman came in, and she wanted to change the show. And so we had this big, giant meeting. show's killing it. Um, I've been up all night writing. I'm also a comedian. So for, since I was 19, I've been told, say what you say, say the truth. Don't, right. don't, don't BS anybody. Yeah. Uh, no one, no one, I needed a, a lesson in diplomacy. So I sit down at the table, there's 40 people there. Everyone's stoked about the show. And she goes, I want you and, uh, and, uh, Cynthia and Aaron to cheat on each other in the show, which we did in episode four. Right. So nobody says anything. And I should have not said anything. And what I said was I looked at the network president in the face in front of 40 of her minions. And I said, do you even watch the show? Because let me explain to you how this works. Oh, and oh wow. That was, you, That's you, by the start. way, I've told you this story before. And you giggle. You giggle at my pain every time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Um, and then the room went cold. Then I explained to her for about four minutes exactly why she was basically a three-year-old and didn't quite understand how a comedy worked. Um, at that point, the room got it got really cold, and uh, and the thermostat lowered itself to thirty-two degrees, and <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, my career uh, was over. <laughs> so, okay. so now here's the deal: they wanted you on the show to split up with the, your wife on the TV show, Aaron. And right. the reason they wanted you to split up is because I guess they did this on Dharma and Greg, and their yeah, ratings so went up. So. So there's two kinds of executives in television, in anything. You guys have programming directors that yes. come in, and they, they know how good you guys are, and they let you do what you want because they know you're good. The best And then kind. there's other guys that want you to do it their way Yes. So, uh, because they because they have small penises. The point <laughs> I want to make <laughs> is – is is that and this and this woman she was executive she was not president she definitely has small penis she said uh, she just she there's some executives coming in they want to put their stamp on it especially when yes. it's a success uh-huh. you know when your show's doing well because there's a meeting with forty people when yes. your show sucks you meet with the third assistant you know <laughs> so. Um, so she, Darm and Greg had got, went from their ratings had gone to a 19 share, but the problem is they lied to the audience. They told the audience that, Oh, by the way, the hippie and the yuppie can be together forever. And then they cheated on each other. And so they blow, the, they blew the entire show out. In fact, the next the, year, the whole Darm premise was gone to a five share. Yeah. Yeah. The whole premise is gone. Yeah. So that's what she wanted to do with our show. I, my whole thing was two dysfunctional people can make a great couple. And she wanted us to cheat on each other, which ends the whole show. Right. And so I kind of told her that, and I and I and I'm and I'm and and, and now I'm begging <laughs> to get on the radio before this new thing I'm doing. So you're you're going to have a reunion with the original yes. cast, including yes. Stacy Keach, Keach, 
And yes. and at the time, it was your wife on the show, uh, <sighs> Cynthia, yes. Cynthia Wright, Rogers. Zach Ward, yep. and the whole the whole crew is going to be there, right? David Shatra. So here's what happened. Yeah. So uh, co- because I can't do comedy now, I can't go out in front of co- in a comedy club and spew virus on people, and they spew it on me. It's yes. just a petri dish of death. That's all we're living in right now. Yeah. And by the way, how does it feel for everybody to live in the final chapter of the Bible? It's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> the final <laughs> chapter of the Bible. So <laughs> that's what it's going. 2020 is the final chapter of the Bible. Well, I'll just um, wait. I might so, add to that for you. So now the the I'm mean, leading up to this. So you're having not only you're going to air two of the shows where it end it off and then you have right. a brand new episode that you're going to air after a question right. and answer period well i wrote we have people calling in from australia from japan it's weird man we didn't yeah. know that people we didn't know that people would be so stoked about it so i wrote a whole episode and the problem is i wrote it and then stacy's wife called and said hey stacy loves this he'll do it when covid's over and i'm like well that's not the hope the whole point is to do it now yeah and she said well he's 80 he's almost 80 and he can't do it so I thought it was over. And then Zach Ward, of all people, had this great idea. He just had this, threw out this idea to me. And I, and I thought, oh, my God, I can make that work. So Stacy Keach, is, the, how we got Stacy Keach in the show, you won't believe it. It's so funny that when we shot it, I, I, it uh, Zach came out and was with Stacey. And I, I laughed. I had to stop taping. I said, guys, I need to laugh for five minutes. Just get this out. Um, so And also, the show starts. So I wrote a whole episode. It's a, it's a long episode. I'm I, if you remember the show, I ended up in a mental hospital. That's where the show yes, ended, which exactly. doesn't surprise anybody uh-huh. in my life at all. <laughs> um, so I ended up in the middle, mental hospital, and uh, and so I had to write myself out of the hospital. So the episode starts with me getting out of the mental hospital. Uh, they forgot to pick me up because Dave was using the wrong paleo pagan calendar. He was using the Wiccan calendar <laughs> instead of the neo nurse calendar. So they're a week off. Yeah. So I show up at the shop and uh, and they didn't pick me up. And then it goes downhill from there for the next thirty five minutes. Uh, and you're not going to believe how we ended the show. It's you know, Lamont. I never got to end the show. You yeah, know? I, I never got to really wrap it up. So this episode really wraps it up. It's going to be awesome. And it's only ten bucks too. So imagine this: you're going to go see me at a comedy club. It's twenty five bucks for two tickets, yeah, a, a piece, and then you got to go spend nineteen dollars for drinks, and then you know, and then you got to pay for the DUI later. So. <laughs> On the way home. So, so if you come to, if you go to, go to ChristopherTitus.com or you can go to um, TitusReunion.eventbrite.com. Uh, yes. And uh, it's 10 bucks. You can sit in your own house, drink your own drinks, and you can, you can not wear pants if you want. It'll be awesome. <laughs> and you can gather all your friends there and like charge them all 10 bucks to get in. You can actually make money on this deal. So, uh, so exactly. now, no. you can actually, exactly, whore your big screen. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. But here's, here's my question. Now, you have a question and answer period. Uh, yeah. with, with the cast, how do, is it someone answering the questions on video or do people get a chance to zoom? Because if it's a zoom deal, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, we have a ton of tickets. We've been giving it away. The streams the whole time. I'm thinking right. of giving half of our tickets away to your old family that lives here and they can, <laughs> <laughs> they can ask you questions. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be great because it'll be more deposition. I'll have to answer. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> it's not funny to me at all. But thanks, thanks. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of and thinking, wow, how great would that be? Just a, that question and answer period will never, it won't be like anything no. else in the world. <laughs> <It'd be> fantastic. <laughs> Well, one of my kids is 18. The other one is, is 16 now. So yeah. I'm, I'm a year and a half from getting out of the divorce 100%. Oh, okay, there you go. So you still have a year and a half left. That's all I'm saying. Right. So you can beat me up for another year and a half. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. No, this is, on all seriousness, this is a great freaking deal. We have all the links on our page as well to click on through. I know what I'm doing Friday night. I'm going to watch this. It's ChristopherTitus.com. And the return of the Titus show, the Titus family reunion. I love it. Hey, Christopher, I love you like a brother, and I'm looking you, forward my to this. Brother. All right, you take tell care. Your kid, this, tell, hey, tell your son if this is successful, he's got a job. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Make sure we don't give any tent passes to his uh, family now. Okay, yeah. there we go. All right, talk to you later. Thanks for having me on, man. Right, okay, man. this Friday night, uh, 6 o'clock. Sounds good. We have all the information at our website. 